Okay. Oh. There's is a red just, shell is, on the left. Is he just using that for Traveler or what? Okay. Uh, what do so, you think he's going for there? Maybe an up air to combo that? So something that's really interesting. Uh, you see that he's going through oh. what? Oh, it's RNG. That's right. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right, so he's going side. through the... Um, I don't know why he's going through that little that tube thing, uh, but he's actually using the original version of Smash 64, and we'll talk more about this later. But in the newest versions of the game, uh, there are save states, so you actually don't have to like set yourself up anymore. You can, um, similar to 19xx or 20xx, excuse me, if you're a melee player, there's now save states in the game that's going to really make this combo contest a lot more interesting. I have a theory in the why he's going into that first shell there. I think it's for the piranha plant timing. I think if he throws the, the thing up and makes the number of jumps he needs, as soon as he goes down that tube, that gives him just enough time for this piranha plant to set up. Wait, so That's my prediction. When you go into the tube, does it alter the timing of piranha plant? I'm not sure about that. It might. But I mostly think oh, it's just a timing one. thing. I expect, yeah, there it is. Oh! Oh! Dude, it came out of nowhere. Oh, man. Yeah, he was messing up and then messing up yeah. and then all of a sudden just went all the way. That was actually really creative. Oh, lo love a combo like that where you don't know where it's going to the very end. Dude, I... Even I, if they keep messing up. I wasn't even aware... I wasn't even fully aware that he had sucked in Falcon. Like, I knew he had, had done that, um, but I thought it was more for the projectile of the of the little, like, suck out or whatever you want to yeah, call it. Um, I totally pop. forgot that he could Falcon punch. Uh, that really <laughs> threw me off. Oh, I... Yeah. <laughs> East Ham not knowing which there way to go. go. Pidge with the nine. That's oh, crowd, crowd's going for the 10. Um, Same with the 8. So let's talk about our judges a little bit. So we have Pidge, Esam, Boom, seven. Hungrybox, oh. and Wario. Seven. Yeah. Oh Just like our competitors, honestly, a super diverse group. I love it. We have Canada, USA, and Japan. Um, I think that's something. I think that's my favorite thing about. Smash and honestly, just like gaming communities in general, how diverse it is, it's super cool. Um, yeah. You have to meet a lot of interesting people. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, kind of low scores for Jaime. That's the only combo he gets in this round. You so, thought that was well? See, I thought that was honestly kind of generous. I think with the way that the bar has been raised. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying I disagree with the scores. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm just saying, I don't know if that's going to get him into the next round. Uh, yeah, um, the, a lot of strong competitors. The combo contest here. meta has it, is so different. I mean, the first year, what was it, SmashCon 2016? The first year we had a combo contest. There, people didn't even use items. I, yeah. I think zero competitors used yeah, an item. Yeah, not even Prince used items. Not even Prince. Um, and now it's a complete staple. Now yeah. we have people like slowing down. There's like a slowdown feature. The slow mo. Um, yeah. There's a bunch of weird features, and every year we see something slightly different. And uh, I'm super excited to see where this goes. Yeah, so let's talk about Alvin. So okay. Alvin's competed in almost every combo contest, if not every one. Yeah. Uh, the thing with Alvin is if you see the combo meter in the top left, you'll see as soon as he goes into the stage, that counts up when uh, it's a true combo. Alvin will regularly just let that drop and continue on like nothing happens. Is that and still a thing? Because I know that was for a long time, and he got a lot of criticism for it. He just does it. He just lets <laughs> it go, and he just gets up and walks off like it's a true combo, and the judges always punish him for it. He does not Whoa. last around. That's pretty sick. Yo. What is he doing? Turn what? around. Turn around. Yeah, this is all first try, too. First try. Oh, he dropped Ooh. it. But like, oh. you said, he, <laughs> dude, like you said, he doesn't care that he dropped it. All right. Did he drop those? I wasn't watching. Yeah, towards the end, he oh, dropped man. it. So well, if he hits the wall, it could be a true one. Yeah, yeah that's that a drop. one is dropping. Mm, interesting. So what he's going for there on the left is he's trying to hit the reverse up air to throw him back uh. into the wall. And that's kind of a throwback to his fellow countryman, Tavo Mono. This move right here. Oh, oh two of them. <laughs> that move right there is affectionately referred to as the Tavo combo. Oh, not the not the Still projectile. Still not connect. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't care that the combo is dropping. He really doesn't care Dude, at all. Some judges uh, take that to heart. So, like, Boom is, if, if he doesn't actually make it a true combo, I know that Boom's going to give this man, like, a, a five or a six. No, Ooh. for sure. I mean, Boom, yeah, I would be surprised. Even if this connects, and this is pretty awesome to watch. No, this is super cool for sure. Even if it connects, I'd be surprised if Boom gave him higher than an eight if he keeps dropping it. Oh, 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 oh is that supposed what? to hit the piranha? I don't know if that was a or tech error. Or just off the tilt. I, honestly, I don't know. That, that would be wild if that comboed into the piranha plant. I think he has to do this forward air a little bit earlier. He really does. It's not comboing. 
Mm. Yeah. I don't know if it needs to like not be a combo in order for the whole thing to connect. Uh, for like the moves to be in the right place at the right time. Um, but it's definitely not common without ladies doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> dash so let's just talk about how consistently he's hitting that first <laughs> up air. Dude, I don't even, what hitbox is that? No, I was waiting to mention it. So if you're not familiar with Smash 64, this reverse up air that he's doing is wildly difficult. <laughs> I he, And he hasn't dropped it once. Oh, no, okay. he, he actually hasn't dropped it once. Mm. Seems kind of inconsistent with where he wants these up airs to go. He is really delaying that second forward air. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. It looks high. Is that what he wanted? Oh, oh. dude, dude. Is that dude. the finish? I think he, or the no, ledge grab? I think he wants the same reverse up air. So you know how he's doing this? Oh, you know how he's doing no. the, the up air that sends him the opposite no. direction? I think he wants the up air to send him the opposite direction, bounce off a pro ah, but then what would you get off that? No, I think it would just, at that angle that he's coming at, it would actually just send him all the way to the right and kill him, right? Yeah, I don't, I really don't know what he's, I don't know what he's going for here. Man. Okay, he Last missed chance. it. He missed it once. Okay. Oh. Uh, what? All right, one more, one more. <laughs> one Justin more. goes one more, okay. one more. So last year, Alvin got put on his last try and he nailed the combo. Come on, Alvin. Oh, he, he so wanted the up there. This man is so what? clutch. Oh, oh, oh no. Dude, wow. the crazy thing about these combo contests is, uh, so Alvin probably had three, four combos prepared, and unfortunately, um, he's, he not could, gonna, he's not going to make it to the next yeah. round with that. He could have switched, too. I see some tens. Those are in the background. Um, honestly, unless unless the other contestants completely butcher their combos, that's going to be a that's going to be a tough right, one. Rich, what number are you giving this one? It's, it's looking good for Jaime. We'll say that. <laughs> a six, a six Pidge. for Pidge. Honestly, I good try. Ooh. Good try for me, Sam. What kind of number do you want? Wait, what did HBox write? You try. <laughs> you try. Oh, goodness, you try. Do they have Do they have markers? All right. So that's a oh, good try, point six for Boo. <laughs> uh, uh, that's yeah, rough. So that is rough. I'm not sure how that counts in the scoring, but I think it means he's not moving on. Uh, like, like I said, the other contestants <laughs> would have to completely butcher their combo for yeah. him to get through. What do they do? They go back and see who got the least amount of good tries of that happens? Oh, you know? mean like the how do we quantify? Yeah, I guess <laughs> he's, just, he's out. I think we're safe to say yeah. Alvin is out, which is unusual. He actually usually makes it to the next round. Um, even with dropping those combos in the middle, he's usually done enough cool Falcon stuff. He always does the coolest Falcon stuff, yeah. man. I cannot, he should get like a six or a seven just for hitting that up air so consistently so many times. Yeah, like I said, if you don't play the game, that reverse up air he was doing is actually super hard. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't even reverse. It was like. Yeah, so like Falcon. I um, sour, sour spot, I guess. I don't is even, that the word? It, he has like his hook up air where it hits you with the back of the foot and you. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's a weird up air for sure. Definitely one of the weirder really hitboxes odd. in the game. Yeah. Um, so who do we got next? Oh, we got Raz. We got Raz coming up, and he usually does something a little wacky. Yeah. I'd so say. the way these combo contests work is there's there's a spectrum, right? There's uh, the technical aspect of the combo, and then the creative aspect of the combo. And I think what we just saw from Alvin was a, a very technical combo, um, yeah. where a player like Raz and Prince they definitely hover more towards the creative aspect. Core two, yep. he's not here unfortunately. Um, so I'm very interested to see uh, where this goes. Yeah, if I remember correctly, he's whipped out some Luigi stuff in the past mm. with some, God, I can't even remember what he did, but it was some shenanigans. Yeah. Maybe like two up Bs in a combo or something like that. Uh, definitely is going to whip out the items. Um, yeah, the items are a staple at this point. Oh, well, Alvin actually didn't use any. No, which is super he, rare. I don't think he actually has ever in this. Usually what he does is pick Falcon and does a lot of fairs around mm -hmm. the stage and just kind of eventually kills him and gets into the second round. Uh, yeah, uh, so we're, we have a little bit of a delay here. And what I'm predicting is happening is that they're switching back from mm. original vanilla Smash 64 to 19XX. And again, if you're, if you're just tuning in or, or you're not familiar with 19XX, it's essentially a worse version of 20XX. Um, but the newest iteration of 19XX is you get save states. So now, um, if you don't know what a save state is, you can essentially start the training mode, you can reset it, and have your characters where you want them to be, and it's not necessarily at the spawn platforms, where they would typically spawn. I see. But let's be clear. 
They're not going to be using any save states during this combo. <laughs> No, like not about to maybe to set it up though. <laughs> yeah, maybe to set, to set, it, set up. it up at the beginning. Because yeah. for for what twenty years, you unless you like wanted to walk somebody halfway across the stage, yeah. you really were kind of limited to these spawn spawn locations. Yeah. But now you can just keep resetting in some exotic yeah. spawn location, which certainly was doable in a combo, but maybe not in a situation like yeah. this where you're timed uh, and you only have so much time. And that setup is crucial when you have a combo that takes thirty seconds to set up. That and can really kill you here. For sure. And also, there are combos that, um, for for some reason or another, you want to be at a higher percent. Or maybe, your right. opponent, maybe you want your opponent to start at 2% or right. 1%. Um, and now you can also do that. You can have it where you can reset, and maybe they start at 2%, you start at 50%, um, you know, in some random location. But yeah, so this is what we're talking about. He's so. setting the spawn, okay. the custom. <laughs> I don't know why you do that tongue thing. And the uh, menu out of game, menu in game. All yeah. right. <laughs> So he has spawned himself right next to the uh, to Boom. his training mode dummy here. All right, so he's the Yoshi. I was thinking he was Link for a second. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Wait, did he just parry the red shell? <laughs> did he? I wasn't yeah, no, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> he's going <laughs> to... So for those who don't know, in 64, Yoshi, with perfect timing, can... Oh, he is trying to parry he, it. He parried it the first time. Yoshi, with perfect timing on a shield, they can actually parry an attack take no damage, no hit stun. Yeah, um, so uh, the parry exists in 64. It also exists in melee. If you're you know, one of the newer Smash players, it's essentially a power shield, but 10 times better. Uh, it's frame one. Um, it essentially just allows you to have zero hits. Zero. Yeah. Nothing. Just straight up, you, you can act go. out of it. OK, let's see what he's got. If you see that shell come out, he probably didn't get the parry for the most part. What is he able to see? I don't know why he didn't set this up when they were counting down. Oh, yeah, so that that little twitch thing he does is a parry. Oh, oh he I dropped the star! Yo, yeah, I love the, I love when they go into the, the menu mid-combo and spawn so an hard. item. That, that's kind of where the technical aspect and the creative aspect fuse, right? Yeah. Like when you start dropping com or dropping items in mid-combos. Oh, wait, what? So I think he's trying to get some sort of juggle with the red shell on the left side. Yeah, I don't know if he wants them to bounce off the wall or, or go back towards the right side of the stage again. Oh, OK. This is nuts. Oh, what was that little double he jump? Yo, he's still Oh, shoot. Oh, reset. Wow. Um, this is kind of a nuts combo. If he nails this, I don't know how it's going to finish, but this is, dare I say, Prince-esque of a combo. It's all about the finish, though. This setup is very princess. So Prince loves the red shells. He also loves the um, the little fan things. Yoshi, of course. Ooh, Ooh a little bit late. Okay. So he is trying to send them back over there for one more red shell hit. So you know it would be interesting. Um, I've been waiting for years. At what point the combos are going to get so advanced that we actually don't see a lot of people finish? Um, and maybe this is the year where we finally reach the threshold. We reach that bar where in order to compete, you have to have some crazy exotic combo. but Three minutes just isn't enough time to compete. So to complete I, it. I almost think people have already maybe gone too far uh, in terms of not making combos consistent enough. Because Court would have won last year. He would have beaten Prince. Ooh. Oh. What? Yo, is that on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't trying to like. I don't know. Did dude. he slow mo then reset? I have no idea what Ooh. happened. Okay, wait, wait. So he. Went to slow-mo, and then instead of exiting, he went down more. So he's probably trying to down B in slow-mo, right? I, I have no idea. There, there's been so many tech errors that I don't even know which direction the combo is going in. Like, So so there's still a fan on the left side of the stage. Who knows if he's going to use that? Oh, it could bounce off that. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know where this is going. Oh, what oh is where's that red yeah. shell? So going back, go? going back to what you were saying before, there was one year, maybe 2017, where someone got to the finals. Uh, I think it was tacos on like a pretty, it like a tacos pretty basic combo yeah. because everybody else just butchered their executions. Man, I want to see this finish too. I love that parry though, right in the beginning. It's so nuts. Ooh. Uh, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't let him kick you off. I want to so, see how this finishes. He's missing that back air, and, and if you're if you're unaware, in 64 there's um, oh okay, come on, there it is. Uh, in 64 there's different full jump heights, and uh, it looks like you need a stick hop back air 
in that scenario, and it looks like he's doing a slanted C-hop back air, which of course is not going to give you the height you need to make it connect. So we haven't even gotten to the part of the combo where he uses this star rod on the right. No, <laughs> give him one more, give him one more. Uh, oh, man. So, so honestly, Alvin, Alvin's combo was, I, I would say, better than that. I would say if it's between Alvin and Raz, I would give it to Alvin over Raz. It was, I'm not even sure. I think I might disagree and say I like Raz is better. Yeah, it, but it's, they, uh, it's close. They're it's, close. It's close because, um, Three is a good try. Three, Three is a good try. Oh, wow. The judges agree with you, though. Yeah. It depends on what you value more, the technical aspect or the creative aspect. Yeah. Well, I suppose the parry in the beginning, once you do it once or twice, is not terribly difficult. <laughs> Certainly a cool start to the combo, yeah, though. I love, I love the good tries. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, okay, I'm giving you a three, but good try. It, it makes the competitors feel that much better. Just just that much a little bit better. That's a new thing, right? The good try? Yeah, I have not seen that the before. The marker, too? It must be courtesy of Cup of Noodles. That's all I'm Shout saying. Shout out to Cup of yeah, Noodles. They're bringing you the good try noodles. <laughs> uh, okay, who we got next? Combo Blaze. Combo Blaze. So, kind of like Raz, uh, Combo Blaze is not going to be, you know, your world-class, like, S-tier player. Like yeah. some of these guys. But, um, like, those guys are almost more dangerous in this combo contest because they're not spending their free time practicing for the singles racket like Alvin is. I was, they're spending their free time working for this event. I was actually thinking about that. So, you have somebody like Prince who's honestly, like, probably the best balance of a top player and a top comboer. Um, and I wonder how he allocates his time. Every time I see him here, he's just in training mode. So I don't know what you're talking about. I think he's no. just. <laughs> well, I guess I guess you really only have to prep um, for Thursday. Yeah. The Comic Contest is always the first year. Yeah, every every year Thursday afternoon, you can find Prince on a TV over here, just in training mode by himself, usually against the wall, so people can't see what he's working on. Yeah. Which I appreciate because I don't want to see it until he does yeah, it on for stage. Sure, for sure. All right, so let's talk about Combo Blaze, Midwest Combo Falcon. Blaze. Uh, if you're familiar with the waterfall system, he's probably a D2 player. Yeah, D2. Definitely. Really good day. Maybe he makes D1. Um, Falcon main. Uh, but of course, we might not necessarily see. Okay, we are we are seeing the, the Falcon. You hear the Falcon? Falcon on Pika or Pika Falcon on Falcon. On Pika? Who knows? Let's see here. A lot of Mushroom Kingdom. Has every combo been on Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah. All three combos have been on Mushroom Kingdom. Right, yeah, they because were. Mushroom Kingdom allows you to essentially use additional items that are not typically in the game. The Piranha Plan yeah, in, the Piranha in and of itself is essentially an item. It's got a couple walls and some interesting places. So Peach's Castle. Okay, something so new. Yeah, we've got the bumper on top you can utilize. We've got those walls on the left and right. But the triangles in the top left and right are actually kind of hard to use for a combo because they kind of tumble on it and bounce down. Yeah, and, and also the... Um, the hit stun that it produces is kind of wonky. Like mm -hmm. half the time, you don't know if it's really a combo. Yeah. Um, oh, which so is almost great in this situation because as soon as you hit a wall, the combo meter will reset, even if it's true, and the judges just kind of have to guess. Well, Was actually, it's not true anymore. So in the new 19XX that I've been talking about, oh. uh, grabs, which I believe have typically reset combos, uh -huh. and wall bounces now no longer reset the combo. Um, so, okay. like, if, for example, Combo Blaze, it looks like, I don't know if he's warming up or what he's doing, but just before, you, you saw him go for a down air, jab, grab, and in the past, we may not necessarily, what? what we, okay, he he's did this, blindfolding this himself? might be the same combo that he had in his back pocket last year, but didn't break out because he was eliminated before he could. What? Yeah. He's blindfolding himself? Blindfolded. This is some next level, like, sociopath kind of, like, what? <laughs> you, what in the world are you doing? You got to respect it, though. Just, you, uh, <laughs> what? Why are you blind? Are you, man, so, he, like, he really should have brought someone with him to tie So, so we were just talking about how, like, there's different, there's different aspects, right? You have, like, the technical aspect, the creative aspect. This isn't a, a completely external aspect of the combo contest. I don't, how do you value this as a judge? This is, if, right, this like, is showmanship. It, it, that's what this if, is. It's a, if it's a combo that deserves a six, what do you bump it up to? A nine, a ten? Like what? How do you quantify a blindfold? I don't care if he does a Falcon standard. If he does it blindfolded, it's a ten. What is this, dude? It did, oh, but it did he, reset. But I wonder he, if he can tell if it resets. He he. That's true. I don't know. 
<laughs> he even knows when he messes up the item. He or doesn't wait, know. He doesn't. Okay, okay there right. it is. Wow. How did how did he know? Mm. Oh, he didn't mean to full hop. This seems hard. We don't even really know what it's gonna produce. He didn't know that he doesn't know the combo drops. Oh. So typically typically this would be like a five combo. Yeah. Um, and he's not connecting the up air. I don't know if he knows that or not. What would you bump what would you bump this to if he connects the Falcon Punch? Mm. Right, so let's say he gets the combo down, right? Yeah. What is, what is what do you bump this to? I think we gotta see how I mean I guess he's just going for a Falcon Punch, right? Yeah. I think the uh, the main takeaway from this one is of course the blindfold. Ooh. So apparently when you're blindfolded, your ability to control your thumb is a lot worse. Because he keeps it connected. full hopping. It connected. See, I was, I, was skept right. I was skeptical. I didn't even know if he could connect it. Ooh. Um, but he did. Oh, that's Ooh. so good. Oh. So uh, you actually might be right. So he actually keeps accidentally full hopping. So I wonder if Combo Blaze short hops with the stick. There are players that do that. Um, and maybe because he's nervous, he's now full hops, like stick hopping. Yeah. Um, oh, OK. Mm, he can't tell that it's not connecting. Oh! oh, my God! oh! oh! He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know if it's connected. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he's like, oh, did it did connect? Oh he doesn't God. even know if it connected. Everyone's giving it a t <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, he was so confused. He was so confused. He's disoriented. I did it. I did it. OK, cool. Cool. Crowd wants a 10. He's asking, dude. What? Maybe he's not sure of that. I wonder if he knows. That upper did not connect, right? Yeah, the third, that version. The third attack in the sequence uh, was not a Someone just broke a shield? I'm going to pass out. That's uh, a nine from Paige. Nine from Hbox, ten for me, Sam. Boom's giving this a seven. I'm calling it now. Eight. It was blindfolded. <laughs> He's like, come on, Boom. An eight. Okay. Yeah. That's generous, given that he dropped the combo. We know how much, we know how Boom feels about Boom, that. Boom's like, I could do that in my sleep. Hbox with the nine and Wario. War, I don't know. If, okay. Wario with the so nine honestly, too. honestly, automatically going to the next round at this point. Um, like. Three more competitors. He beat Jaime, so he's guaranteed in, right? He's yeah, clinched? Yeah, I believe that he is guaranteed in. Wow. And honestly, he deserves it. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I got to see that because he mentioned it last year and never got to see it. Wow. Glad we got to pull it out in this combo contest. Dude, we talk about the bar being raised. Look, uh, a few years ago, we had a competitor uh, a taunt cancel with his forehead or he like, headbutted the controller or something. He, oh, Mariguash tried to Mario finish Gosh his combo by it. like uh, biting his controller or something crazy. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of the external factors, I got to say. I it's feel like pretty cool. the whole essence of the combo contest is to essentially um, amaze the crowd. Do something yeah. you've never seen before. And that was definitely something that we've never seen before. For sure. I mean, every year. So Prince. The stuff he does isn't always the most technical by any means. Oh, and sometimes it is, and he's sometimes. definitely capable of doing it. <laughs> but he knows to win this contest, you just got to get the crowd to pop off. Yeah. You got to get the judges hype so they'll give you those tens. And every yeah. year, he's got a little benefit now. He's kind of a legend. Yeah. So every time he does a combo, the crowd's ready for the finish. And when he nails it, the crowd gets hype. And that's exactly what Combo Blaze just did. He had the blindfold aspect, the Falcon Punch finish. Speaking of, Prince, speaking of Prince, speaking of Prince, newly sponsored Prince, shout out to Span the Global, Woo. picking up Prince. Um, that's our second solo 64 player uh, sponsored by um, one of these big name sponsors. Yeah, and as second to Boom, right? Yeah, Boom and the, Boom and Prince, and then of course like Pan the Global, right? Yeah, so and of course Wizzy is sponsored, um, but Wizzy has his. <laughs> he's Wizzy is like. Is there anything Wizzy can't do? I. That guy's crazy. I don't want to spend too much time on Wizzy, but if, yeah. if you are like in the melee bubble and don't pay attention to 64, Wizzy is like a top three 64 player in the he world. He just Kids. won maybe the most stack event of all time Kids in nuts. Peru. I, I don't know. Kid's absolutely um, wild. Uh, speaking of top so players, though, we got Kiyoshiki. Kiyoshiki, who is probably the most likely candidate to knock off Prince. Uh, yes. Fellow Japanese competitor. He's won 
a couple of combo contests of his own uh, out on the West Coast, I believe. Mm -hmm. And he's done some pretty nasty stuff. I don't think him and Prince have ever been at the same combo contest before. I don't think they, I don't think they have. So um, there, there's our man. Uh, he typically goes to the West Coast events. Um, and he usually so Genesis has like their own like kind of worst iteration of combo contest. Um, and he typically wins, I believe. Uh, but I don't think him and Prince yeah. have ever oh, been at the same event. A wave to the camera. You know, we shout out. Oh. What is the stage selection? This is 19XX? Yeah, so now um, there's like Battlefield, there's FD, all these, all these, like the train, uh, not the training mode, the how to play stage, all these stages that were encoded in the game that we never had access to, you can now play on. Oh, that's, yeah, that's crazy. So here um, we go. We talked about the balance of like top player versus comboer. Um, Kiyoshi right now is arguably the best player in Japan. He's, he's I believe, won every Japanese national. Ooh, okay. And he's a, he is a Kirby player. Yeah. But here he is whipping out this Falcon. Oh, okay. This is first try so far. Oh, Yo, oh, the downer. What? Oh, what was that? The first try. <laughs> what in the world was that? That was ridiculous. So, oh. Salutes the crowd. Pops off. I don't even know what happened. Dude, I couldn't. I don't even. I can't even recall what just happened. What was that? I can't believe that Dude. last dare didn't hit the platform. He just what? kind of sent him down. What in the world? That was around. the craziest thing I've ever seen. I got to be honest. Did, when did he use the fan? Right. Dude, I think <laughs> he, he dropped the fan. Slow-mo Falcon Pond. No, so did no. he ever oh, no. use the fan? Nine, are you out of your mind, Pitch? What? What is that? Dude. All right, Pitch, I'm sorry. That puts Jaime's combo on the same level as Kiyoshi's in your mind. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Nine. Boom! What? What? So if you're if you're ah, giving this if you were giving this a nine, what do you expect out of a ten? Nine. Wario two? What? All the sixty-four oh judges gosh. giving it a nine. That's wild, round. dude. That is absolutely so. A seconds. first try, right? Like you have to bump it up for first try. First try. B. It was just nuts. Dude, I, if you asked me to play by play that combo, I couldn't even tell you what happened because I was losing my mind. Well, Bunch I, of down airs, Falcon Punch at some point. Can you clear this up? Did he use the fan or did he just dude, use yeah. it as a decoy? Dude, I'm telling you, he dropped the fan and then like slowed the game down somehow and then Falcon punched. Did he go into the menu slow down or did he just press dude, a button? Yo, true, true, true. So he would have to go into the menu, drop the fan. No, no, no. You can see. Can you see drop it? I don't even know. I don't even know. He dropped the fan somehow, goes into the menu, slows down the game, inputs Falcon Punch all within like 30 frames. Z start, down, down, left, left, BB. I don't, I don't maybe? even I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Maybe? This guy's nuts. That was so, absolutely crazy. I think if Prince pulled that off, he gets all 10s. Oh, and I so you think he there's benefits bias. from that. Well, I think he gets a little bit. That's, I, I wouldn't necessarily disagree. That was, that was absolutely, that was, that was mind blowing. To do it on the first try is the craziest part. So Prince did the wow. same thing last year. He sat down on Sector Z, did the most nutty combo I'd seen all year. Yeah, that was the nuttiest combo and of the year. He just gets up and walks off. Straight uh, tens, of course. I feel like Kiyoshi just did a combo on par with that. It was a little bit quicker, and I think I wonder if but it I being so it was quick, quick hurts him though. Like where the judges just like I don't remember what happened. So I guess See, I'll give to you a me nine. that makes it all the more special. It was the so fact cool. that we were we were just like talking, and then all of a sudden he started, and then it, get a, it got crazier and crazier, and then the games in like half speed. And I don't even know what was going on, dude. Well, you rarely expect him to get it on the first try. Yeah, so I always assume we have like some time to chat. But yeah. no, dude, he shut us up. <laughs> Let's talk about the man a little bit. All right, so we have uh, oh, tacos. tacos! All right, tacos is a fan favorite. We just got so hyped yeah. for tacos. I'm so, such a and we also weren't sure if he was gonna make it on yes. time. Had some late playing things, but he's here. Yeah, we and hopefully ready to go. What? He wasn't expected to make it. Oh the, wait, that's the combo. Wait, Did you see that? We thought he messed up. No. Wait, what just happened? Okay, it's a combo. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> wait, he hit wait, himself. He grab his he, vulnerability. He hit himself. Wait, what? What character is he? I'm so confused. He's Donkey Kong. Uh, what in the world is happening? He hits himself to get over there. Dude, yeah. that's that is absolutely brilliant. So he hits he himself so that he starts. What is? Dude, I've never seen that before. And the and grab, grab invincibility. invincibility. Yeah, and he did switch the game to slow mo. Dude, what? Oh, what? What oh. is happening? Okay, so Dude. he is trying to use that left triangle, which is very difficult because of the weird tumble animation. 
It's not clear Whoa. when he's <laughs> going to be vulnerable on the left side. Dude, this is a, yet another example of somebody introducing an element to the smash, the, the combo contest that I did. I've never, in, I never in a million years would have would have thought about this. If you locked me in a bedroom for a million years and told me to make up combos, I never would have thought about like hitting myself to have like a different starting point. That's absolutely mad. He's okay, got a chance off the here. bumper. Dude, this is hard. Oh, it got it. it! Yo, what are you doing? It's still, it's still going. going. Finish it! Still. Oh my God. Oh. What? Dude. So there are like nine different moments in this combo where you expect it to drop. It almost looks like it's like extra hit stun. And 64 is a lot of hit stun. <laughs> but what? Is, what is all this? How are these combos? Oh, back air. Is that what he did before? I think he did an yeah, up air. No, no, the, he did do a back air before on okay, that one. Okay, okay. And then he went into, I guess, the Falcon Punch to finish it off. So I have a theory. I think he was just trying to do a different combo in training mode and accidentally shield dropped and hit the shells one time and then realized he could do this. Because there's no way you come up with this on your own. There's no way he's like, let me put Whoops two up. shells on myself and just shield drop and attack them and see what happens. Wait, hold up really quick. Did you know there was a close-up option? He just accidentally did it. That's absolutely nuts. Dude, I love this shield drop. I love the invincibility. There's so many, there's so many like parts of this combo that are just really creative. Wow. I really wanted to finish this because I'm a huge fan of this so far. And I love that shield drop too. This is a very tacos. Like, this is very uh, true to tacos, I think. Yeah. Um, I cannot believe that combo is. This one too. I cannot believe that combo. Yo! <laughs> no! Yo! <laughs> dude, I get so hyped when they slow down the game. Dude, I want that to hit so bad. Ah, dude, that's oh. that's a, honestly the worst part about these uh, combo contests is sometimes they don't finish and it's a it's a it's a damn heartbreaker. Oh, it didn't connect. Oh, dude, when Falcon's falling in slow motion, he's like kind of spazzing out. Okay, come on, Takas, you got this. I, By the way, that reverse God. forward air is not easy to do. Just no, throwing that two out. Two of them in a row, too. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Not a, not an easy thing to do. Come on, there tacos! There's that left tumbo. So, all right. I thought he might have a combo switch, but now he's sticking with it. You know, honestly, at this point, I think he gets in over. Yeah, I think that's over. what you got to be thinking, right? Two people have already bombed out. This is probably the most interesting concept we've seen so far. I, I agree. I think there are multiple. Like I said, there are multiple elements of this combo. That are throwing me off. The the shield invincibility, or excuse me, the grab invincibility, the um, the hitting yourself to start at a different point is like the most wild thing I've ever seen. And not to mention the absurd amount of hit stun. And I've been playing this game for a long time, but okay. The up air connected. Oh, what are you going for, my man? Yeah. Two more tries. Two more tries. Two more tries in this. Come on, tacos! I want to see this end. Reverse fares. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, he dropped it. He's going to go for it, though. You got to. You have to. Yeah, I mean, this the late in the game. The judges know what you're going for. Yeah. Mm. What are you going for? I, I, the judges may, go, may know what he's going for, but I don't. Well, so sometimes you just get in these weird situations where you know it's possible to get the combo, so he'll bounce off that bumper, but he might not necessarily know what he's doing wrong. Yeah. Oh, no. The show. Uh, but him. honestly, honestly, I think I think he gets in. I think he gets in over uh, Raz and Alvin. Honestly, yeah, for sure. Six page. Nine? Is that a nine or six? six? What? Yo. No love for that that create creative intro. No love for the grab invincibility. Come on, boom. boom. Yeah, Sixty-four geez. player. Come on. Six. six. This is criminal. Somebody. Five. Five. No. What? You tried. Wow. I firmly disagree with that, I, but yeah. I'm not up there. I mean, it's wow. hard. What, you can't give the guy a seven, I don't think. Uh, dude, I, I agree that he gets in over those guys, but you can't throw a seven out there. Jaime got sevens. That's, that's fair. Jaime got sevens. That's you know? fair. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. It's, dude, but I guess, I guess we, it just goes back to what we were saying about the bar being raised. That was That was crazy. Oh, Prince coming up. Oh, he's PG him Prince stage. coming up on the stage. <laughs> and Prince is known for doing almost first try. Uh, not has, once, I think it's several to do times. That a couple of times. Uh, so, yeah, so don't look away. Don't hold your. I don't know if we're going to see it. I, I won't say anything because I don't know if we're going to see it in the first combo, but he was doing. Uh, 
Something we have they got yet again not up seen the in the combo contest. Uh, this is Prince's first event sponsored by Pan the Global. Um, so the stakes are a little bit higher. Uh, let's see how he does. Um, so he did tweet out about probably around like 4 o'clock Eastern time this afternoon. Tweeted out in Japanese. I had to translate it. It said, combo will not work. What? Which makes what me is, a little worried. What does that mean? It probably means this is really hard and I'm not getting it to work. Combo will not work. Combo will not work. I mean, it's a rough translation. But let's be real. Prince has probably about 20 combos he could wimp out at any time. Yeah. Um, uh, so if he gets to a point where he's trying something really difficult and not able to do it, he almost definitely has combos that will get him out of this first round. Yeah, Especially so considering now three people have failed. Three of seven people have failed to do a combo. That's so, so true. So at this point, if he does a combo, he's in, right? Yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, it didn't connect. Or is he just messing around? What's going on here? It looks yeah, like I think they've around. all been having a little uh, bit of warm up. So if you, so Prince didn't just show up three years ago and start winning all our combo contests. He's been playing the game for a very long time, and uh, time travel back with like five, six years. This guy was posting like ten-minute-long YouTube videos, um, level one combos, level two combos, and they're all like ten-minute, ten minutes long. And many of them would certainly get him through this round. Yeah, it's pretty crazy when you look at his level one combos. And you're like, that's that's level one? Yeah. Okay, Prince. Is he starting? He's doing the whole thing close up. Oh man, dude, that would have been that would have been sick. What is what is going on here? I'm so I'm not sure. Okay. Falcon kick. Oh, oh yeah, he, he threw it he over. He does some elaborate setups. Yo. There's there's three items already. And they're all like starting in different spots. Where where's the What bombs? is going on? Yo, the cloud dropped! What? Oh <laughs> Yo, Yo, he's using the cloud drop to his advantage? What? This is almost similar to, to Taco's combo where he, he's like, and what's his setup? What he's, is his setup? Okay, so he's waiting for the cloud to drop. He has the star Yo, on. Yo, the weak nair! Oh, dude, did he, was the Falcon Punch maybe a mistake? Maybe he wants to send them back? Or maybe... I mean, it never hit the, he never hit the star rod yet, right? Has he? I, or did he off that explosion? These combos are so wild that it's impossible for me to keep up. I, I don't know. Wait, There's what is like, this shell for? This shell has not been used yet, correct? I don't even <laughs> wait, no, he, we don't shell, even know it. Wait, okay, it does. Okay, okay. Oh, weak nair. Oh, Okay, Prince so the rod jump. does hit him. So he might be trying to finish it off over there on the right cloud, which I, I'm fine with. Uh, I, that's would, enough. It would be reminiscent <laughs> of uh, Jaime's. Short, not simple by any means, but short and to the point. Um, that would be that would be super exciting if he can get this. I love how players are like hidden themselves. Oh wait, what? Yo, he does send them back. Wait, what? Oh, what? He, is that on purpose? That was not on purpose. You can see it in his face. He wasn't expecting to go into the menu. Oh, I hope that doesn't mess him up. So we've been talking about the new 19xx for a while. Oh, I don't know if he's necessarily trained on it. Right, but now we know he's supposed to go. Uh. Okay, so he got a combo in. <laughs> he did. Let's just say he that did get a combo. He got in. a combo in, so I think he's moving on. Um, Prince, Man. honestly, pretty consistent though. I I don't think we're gonna see him not get this. I yeah, well, so the only thing is, last year in the final rounds, he didn't nail his combo, was still able to win because Court also didn't get it. Interesting. Um. But that was, I think, the only time I haven't seen him nail the combo. But he's got something in the books here. I, I'm still not sure how he's trying to finish this, because it does kind of look like he's trying to send them back to the left. But what's but over there? I, I, that's a good question. I know the Falcon Punch. Wait, oh, what? That's unlucky. The Falcon Punch in the very first attempt seemed promising. And now he's like trying to send them back towards the other side. Um, well, I think he was facing the wrong way on that Falcon Punch. Yes, yeah. So what I'm he saying, had actually just been facing the right way and killed it right there. But I don't even know if that's what he's going for. I, lo I love that bomb drop, though. Okay, I think that's what he's no! going for. No! What? Maybe he wanted him to go the other the, way? The, he wants him to bounce off the shell and come back to him? And then, and then do something with that Star Rod? I don't know, dude. There, this man is impossible to follow. You really have to be like a genius to... Bro, first of all, I didn't even know the bomb hit in the air. What is this nair? <laughs> like, what is going on, dude? Oh, oh man. Too early. 
You know, we've seen a lot of weird Falcon up airs so far in this event. Man, that's the thing about Princess combos. You never know what's coming next. We've seen this a million times now. We still have no idea what he's going that's for so at the true. end here. That's so true, and that's worth something. I love that Nair bomb. You get it? Something? Uh, no, that he I, definitely wants that straight horizontal trajectory yeah. going back left. But honestly, he, he has something on the board. Yeah, And the crowd chanting Prince. I'm not he, sure if that mine got where it needed to go. He has something on the board, so I think he gets him by default. I did. Okay, hits the second bomb. Oh, misses the up there. He's doing that way too early. Yeah. Just do it, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Prince, you got this. I think Prince might get a little bit of special treatment with the uh, number of extra tries he gets. <laughs> I will say that. It's yeah. hard to kick Prince off the stage. Everyone in this venue right now wants him to nail this. What? Oh, uh, lucky. I hope, so let's pretend he doesn't get this, right? I hope it doesn't affect his mentality going into the rest of the event. I mean, this long setup is something to consider. Yeah. I mean, did he not want to take advantage of save states here? So, something I should mention, you the safe states don't work for, like, items and stuff uh, like that. It's mean, only it's just port states, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Um, doesn't work for items. Uh, I don't even think it works in the air. Um, All right, they've said two more tries for him here. Hopefully oh, no. this doesn't count. Oh, God. Okay. Come on, Prince. Okay, I think that's the oh. up there he wanted. Yo! Oh. What are you going for? No. Yo! Oh my god! What? This is insane! So, like, what's the probability you actually hit this, right? So when, like, Prince is at home practicing this combo, how many times do you, do you actually get this? How do you even remember that far into the combo? I think once, and then you just kind of shut the game off. This is, this is, come on, mind yes. boss. That's the up air that oh, he wants. a little oh. too horizontal. Prince. One more try. Here we go. So, so, here we go. The last try, Prince. Come on, you got this. Come on. The whole venue's cheering for Prince right now. Okay, this, this long setup is rough, but yeah. I believe. Okay. He gets the bomb. Oh, he, okay. Oh, okay, okay, one second. Cool. He got, <laughs> he got really lucky. He got really lucky that he... Did he? I mean, that's definitely not what he wanted, but that's going to be enough to get him to the next round for well, sure. Well, maybe he knew this was his last try, so he was like, I can do better than that weak nair thing I did earlier. That's a, that's, that's a fair point. Uh, he really missed that jump. So honestly, uh, if he completed the combo in the way that he wanted to, I think it would be the craziest combo that I've ever seen. I've never seen somebody go back and forth so many times. Yeah, he's in, in. A, in a combo contest scenario, possibly. Yeah. So he's getting eights and he's, sevens he's in. from his countrymen. He's in. Not wanting to be accused of any bias at all. Wario giving him the seven. Yeah. The so one thing we should mention is all these competitors, the ones that that didn't hit their combos, they will be posting on YouTube completed versions of these combos. Or Twitter so, or some yeah. other site. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, follow yeah. them. Follow uh, you know, all these guys, Prince, Raz, who else, Mr. Combo, Alvin. They'll Alvin probably be putting combo. it up uh, for people to look at. So if you want to see how these combos end that weren't able to finish, uh, find them on social media, YouTube. Yeah. In the next week or so, I expect them to be up. As well as Prince usually puts up a couple bonus combos. Yeah. And by the way, I didn't get to do these in the combo contest. So they're announcing people that got moved on? Yeah. So Combo Base is in. Kiyoshiki is in. Kiyoshiki. Who else we got? Oh, are they just or are they just applauding the rounds? Let's see if his no, talk is loaded. Nice. And Prince and Jaime. And Jaime, those are the so Jaime combo, Kiyoshi and Prince. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, here are the here are the totals. So Tacos didn't make it. Yeah. Raz didn't make it. And Alvin, and Alvin didn't make it. Which maybe a lesson for next year. Finish your combo? So something that we should talk about, KYSK's combo only two points higher than Combo Blaze. And while the blind flip was the craziest thing I've seen in a long time, I thought I thought Kiyoshi's combo was was mind blowing. That felt like a fifty, honestly. Honestly, I agree. That, that felt the fact that he got up there, did it first try, I bet none of the judges could have told you what happened after. 
If you do a combo that cool, I think you gotta get 50s. And the thing with combo blades is that was essentially a gimmick. It was cool. Yeah. It's really cool that you could do that, but that's not gonna get you into the finals. He's no. gotta whip something better out here. Yeah, he's gotta raise the bar. All right, but we, we still have two more rounds. All right, Jaime starting off. Yeah, so, and we're basically, I believe, wiping the board here. I don't think the first round totals count anymore. I don't, I don't believe they I do either. Mistaken, but you know, I don't think, I think they it's do. a clean slate for all these competitors. No. Um, and and going from this point on, we will be starting with the person with the least amount of points. Yes. Um, so we're starting here with Jaime. Um, you know what we've never seen before? We've never seen somebody not be able to complete their combo round one, and then attempt the same combo round two. Hey guys, like but all these guys finished, right? So okay, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. So ignore everything I just said. It was a really stupid yep. comment. Yet another thing we won't see again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. I uh, believe we've had some weird situations with a tiebreaker, maybe last year with Marie Guas and somebody, mm. um, where they had to d dig into their finals round combo in the tiebreaker, and they didn't have anything left when they got to the finals. Wow. They ran out of combos. Yeah. Of course, these guys are so good, they just whipped out an actual combo on the spot. Well, oh, so they're, they're talking about the uh, the event after this. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. Honestly, super shocked that we've not seen anybody utilize safe seats. Utilize which? Utilize the, the save, the spawn the location saves. save states. Yeah. Or a high roll combo. Well, they, they really like to have walls to extend the combo, and I don't think any of the newer stages that we have access to have walls in them. No, I mean the the the, the spawn, like saving a spawn ah, location. Gotcha. Okay, two motion sensor bombs. All right, so a little bit of a setup same, here. Same setup almost, or similar to Prince's in the last round. Oh, starting with the with Falcon, Falcon Punch. punch. Is oh, he going strong for the so far. Falcon punch? Oh, so gets the weird trajectory. That's that same trajectory that um that Alvin got uh, consistently in, the, in round one, right. where like they, it sends you the exact direction you don't want to go. Of course, it's a lot easier. I don't know. He wasn't going for that, was he? It's starting with a Falcon Punch is absolutely mad. Ooh. I think he might be going for that trajectory. You think so? Because then he will be able to hit him with the fan, pop him up, and maybe finish with a Falcon Punch too. That's such a hard, a hard hitbox to hit. Yeah, and it, it is a lot harder when they're moving, but this is round two of the combo contest. Yeah, yes. I think he wants it. Maybe he's trying to, like, ledge cancel off of that top middle platform. I I, I don't know. Oh, what's or, he doing? He's trying to bomb himself? I, I, I kind of feel like he just wants him to go straight up. I'm not going to lie. I think he wants him to go straight up, maybe drop the, the rod and falcon punch again. This, I, think what we're, I think what we can count on is a falcon punch to falcon punch for sure. You're right. Oh, I did not expect it down there to Falcon Punch! Yo! Caught both of us off guard! <laughs> that is not what I saw coming at all! Oh that was goodness. amazing! Yeah. I, I think we're that, was, that was fantastic. All right, is Jaime going to get to his first combo contest final? I think he might. That was that was a great combo. That was nice. I'm a big fan of the, the Falcon Punch to Falcon Punch. Falcon Punch to start, Falcon Punch to finish. Oh, it's go. kind of a legendary thing. Oh, we got a replay. Yeah, we see. I, but I love these like these so finisher. Like you have these moves that are obviously finishers, and they start and end with them. I think oh, it's yeah. really creative. Oh. And then the down air. What is it? Drop drops the, the fan. fan. Oh, and oh, I didn't even notice man. that he bounces off another bomb in there. There was like a bomb on the tent, and yeah. he like down airs and bounces him off. That yeah. was that was great. A ten. Okay. Ten from Page. Wow. All right. Oh, Esam's thinking. Sam's I think thinking. Esam's gonna give him an eight. Yeah, called it. Boom at the nine. The the mm, okay. Eight. Eight. Nine. There it is. Nine from Hungry Box. Uh, honestly, strong eight. enough to get you in the next round, right. I think. Let's give it up for Jaime. Well, I don't know. With both Kyoshi and Prince ready to go, and he got what a forty-three. I don't know, man. I'm not good at math. Uh, it was a forty-three. Right. <laughs> Aren't you a math teacher? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I would not feel comfortable if I was Jaime. Um, Prince, the number of times he's gotten less than a 43 on a combo is probably way less than the number of times he's gotten more than a 43. I don't even know if he has gotten less than a, than a 43. Yeah, maybe last it's, year on the game-winning non-combo since both players in the finals failed to complete their combo. If Prince but, has completed a combo, I don't think it's ever gotten an 8, honestly. Has Prince ever gotten an 8 on a combo? What did he just get in the last one? Four, not five nines? But he didn't finish it. Like, oh, a completed oh, oh. combo. I don't know if he's ever gotten an eight. Oh. 
I said earlier that all the players had completed their combos, but I forgot Prince hadn't. Because he, like he did. He like completed one. He did. But Anno, <laughs> his completed combo yeah. is so way better than anything I would do. We know that wasn't <laughs> Prince quality of a finish. Oh man, that'd be so funny if he actually like meant to do that weak nair weird finish, and yeah. he just gets up and walks off. Yeah, nah, that, that's not Prince. No. That's not Prince. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty good dude, from Jaime. What are your predictions? Do you think that we will see anybody beat KYSK's or Kiyoshi's the Samus stage? Is it Zeebs or Sexy Zeebs? Zeebs. 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 Uh, his combo. You think we'll see a better one today? I, I'm asking. Yes. Do you think? You think yes. so? I think if anyone's going to do it, it's Prince. Um, or Kiyoshi. <laughs> or Kiyoshi. Do you again. think that he whipped out his best combo in round one? So the trend that I typically observe is you have like your really good combo round one, okay combo round two, oh, relative of course, and then your best combo round three. But sometimes that best combo never, you, you never make it to round three. Right. Or maybe the combo is so good that you, you don't actually pull it off. Um, I honestly give it a f no, no. Kiyoshi and Prince can, can do better. I think we're going to see a 50 from the judges at some point today. And we're going right to see here. a 50. This might be it. Oh, he's using it. So this okay. is the. Uh, Wait, watch closely because last time he did on it on this stage, he did it one try, got up, walked off. He's another one of those situations where no one really knew he what happened. He was happens. so. Can <laughs> you see yeah. his face? He did like a little like a tech error in the um, thing. All right, so so he's setting these spawn locations, not custom spawns, but. Um, spawns that they would not typically spawn in, but but natural spawns nonetheless. Oh, okay. oh there's, this is there's, what I was talking about. Wait, what? So he is controlling two characters right now. He's going to be controlling this Pikachu and this Jigglypuff somehow. I don't know where the second controller is. I, I, I don't know what's happening. I've never in my I didn't know this was possible. This is my first time. So when you told me before that he was controlling two characters, I thought he was like comboing himself. I did not know that you could do three characters in training mode. It's one of those 19xx features uh, that the, allows you to do this. The game just froze, though, it looks like. Oh. Reset the clock. I don't think they started it yet. Oh, wait, it didn't freeze. I thought it did freeze. What is going on right now? I, want, I, think, um, I wonder if he's having trouble controlling. It looks like he has one at his feet. The way that he's looking down, we cannot see his feet, but I'm thinking he has a controller by his toes. I am wildly confused as to what's happening right the now. The crowd, people in the crowd are standing up trying to get shots of this man, trying to see what the heck is going on up here. He's like a mad scientist. <laughs> we don't even know it's... <laughs> so I have seen people do these combos before. I believe Isaiah might have one of these where he controls two characters. Wait, so um, are you saying that is it, is it one of those things where both characters are, are doing the same inputs but mirrored? Or is it like he truly playing two completely separate entities? I think he has two separate entities. I think he has a foot controller and a hand controller. And so when I, I think, you know, the second character doesn't typically tend to do a whole lot in the combo. But like I, an up tilt or something just to set yeah, him up. Almost to, like an just, item. Yeah. Um, now, if he drops one controller and picks up the other to finish across the stage... That would uh, be, be the kind of craziest nuts. thing. Yeah. Dude, th th so I've been saying this all night, it feels like, and, I and I'm not just saying this to try to like hype up the event, but there's been like four or five moments where I've truly said, like, I've never seen this before. It happens every year. Somehow they just keep going higher and higher with these combos. Like last year, do you remember Prince's Pikachu one where he damaged himself yeah. in Hyrule? And then just kind of Pikachu kind of just teleported because of the damage boost across the stage. I was like, what is this? It really shows you how deep these games are. So I think a lot of 99% of players, we focus on the, the bracket, right? Like, how far am I going to go in singles? How far am I, am I going to go in doubles? And we, we ignore this whole gimmicky aspect of the game. But there, there really is so many things you can do in this game. And yeah. not just 64, but all, all the Smash games. Um, yeah. I'd actually be really interested in, in seeing a combo contest for some of the newer games. I don't know why they don't have like their own. It, it might be harder to get them consistently. It is. Um, but I, I mean, I've definitely seen some really cool ones online. Just like I didn't know you could do that in these other games too. That, dude, that would be cool to see. Particularly in Ultimate. Sorry, go ahead. No, um, I was gonna say, you know, not only the training mode combos. There are other modes in the game. There's target practice, board the platforms, yeah. which you know maybe not as creative, but certainly something that I found myself spending hours grinding on yeah. at uh, different portions of my play playing career. Okay, right. so he's still setting up. I wonder what happened that he had to reset. Um, I, I, I cannot. I have no predictions for what's about to happen. He's touching the ground. Is there a second controller? 
I think there's can, a foot controller. Can we get a, a confirmation controller. from somebody? <laughs> there's, there has to He's jumping with two characters? Wait, but is it the same? I'm so confused. Yeah, I, are there different controls for sure. Definitely has two different controllers. We see both of his hands. One of them is by his feet. Dude, I pretty much guarantee that. I'm going to pass out if he does a combo and he switches controls. Uh, first try, guaranteed. First. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. So he wants to put him to sleep? Stop. Is, is that part of Is that? Stop it, Prince. There is a second controller. Confirmation from Gimmer. Second controller by the feet. Is he he's up being with it or his feet? So he's probably gonna hit this mine over here and fall asleep. Can we just when talk he hits about the puff? Yeah. Yo, oh, what what, the what was that? What what was dude what, what how did how did he Okay, so there's what, a what, glitch. Wait, wait, what was that? There is a glitch where Pikachu up these through Jigglypuff's sing. And he will actually, instead of falling asleep, he will just teleport across the stage, which is what we just saw. Is that is that common? Not like I've been playing this yeah, game for I like eight. I wouldn't know about common knowledge, dude. Uh, what is what is it's this? Not he does it seen. again. No. What is it, yeah. dude? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna pass out, dude. I didn't even know you could up beat through sand. What, dude? I. Like, I really feel like a poser or like a fake fan of the game, but I didn't even know you could do that. I've never seen this stuff before. I've been playing this game for like a decade. I have seen it before, maybe even in a combo. I have never seen this done twice in a combo. This is the, the funkiest thing. What? And he like, does he ledge cancel? What is happening? So did he ledge cancel there before? I am, I am so, so confused on so many different levels. Dude, talk about the hand-eye coordination. <laughs> hand-eye hand hand coordination. foot coordination. <laughs> yeah. He got it. He drops the combo. He up, oh, he he up he's again. Is he going to do one? Yeah. What are Dude, you doing? I think he's going for the gun. I think he's going for the gun. Wait. <laughs> yeah. No, he is not going to march him across stage with that gun. <laughs> gun into rest? Rest with the feet? Oh, my God. No. Jump, rest Dude, with the feet. I, Calling it. I don't know if my body can react after seeing if he jump rest. This is crazy. How do you that would so I have I don't think I've ever correctly predicted the end of a Prince combo <laughs> in my life. I'm going with jump rest with the feet just because I don't think it's possible. So he'll probably do if it. you asked me 20 minutes ago if it was possible, I would have said no and I would have bet my life on it. What all oh, the jabs! Dude, oh man, I am I'm at a loss for words. All right, here's I, the real question: If he doesn't get this, does this beat Jaime? <laughs> See, like, okay, he drops the combo. Okay, here we he go. He rests again. The up B. E, what? Oh, no oh. jump. So, so this is a combo that if he doesn't get, I would be okay with him trying this again in the finals if he gets there. Oh my God, that wedge cancel, and then the up B e again. Uh, he's going and exit. <laughs> Is that good enough? <laughs> and exit. Oh, he's switching it up. Okay, here we go. His, uh, is this he's not sure what he's going for here. All right, so this is one of his mini combos in his back pocket. He's just going to whip out or not. He's psyching us out. I he doesn't he, know what he wants to do yet. I think he wants to get to the final round so he yeah. can do the, the, two, the, the hand foot combo. I don't think he would try it again, honestly. I think he has too many things. What is he doing? He's running so many combos that he doesn't even know what's going on. I I don't know if my, my heart can All take right, this. Starting with a Falcon Wait, Punch again, just like Jaime. What? I think he just wants to get to the next round. This is right. a, a very Jaime-esque. This does kind of look like a Jaime combo. I think he's just trying to get to the next round. Well, Which honestly, hurry. I would take. Yeah, he needs to hurry. This will be the first time Prince doesn't win. There uh, is a mine right there where he's landing. Here we go, Prince. Come on, we believe. Let's go, Prince. I almost feel like he should have kept trying the other one. I feel he like he was, was kind of close. close. So I will go back to the other one. I just remembered it, Pikachu does actually, he teleports, but he falls asleep. But he was canceling both sleeps with end what? cancels. Wait, I thought that was the end. What? Dude, we still. Uh, 
just, I can't take this. I thought I thought he was doing some some like some small combo to get him to the next round, but he's still going. I so, forgot the bumper was even there. So that's a. Uh, oh what? Whoa, is he's going for the finish. All right, so that would have been that's two falcon punches right there. Is he going for a triple falcon punch combo? I think it'll be the first time in history. I've never seen that before. I've sure. never even. Okay, there's. Uh, is he dead? Let him die. Get to the, let him, let the him die. Get to the next round. <laughs> Dude, if he does a triple falcon punch, I'm gonna lose it. Oh man! Come on, PJ Prince, you got this. Okay, okay. off the bumper. Okay, the back air. The mine. The bomb. Oh what? Ooh. How did he bounce that way? I think that he wants to do bumper bomb. Falcon punch. Falcon punch. I mean, there's got to be a third punch, right? You already got two pretty easily. Why would you not? Yeah. Okay, okay. come on, Prince. Oh, he wanted the... Oh, my heart. He wanted three Falcon Punches. This is still like a 10, though, dude. I I thought this was a cop-out combo. This is a 10. Oh. oh. I still don't understand how that last Falcon Punch was ever going to connect. Oh, he, he's beating himself up, dude. Yeah, that's... That I really hope... I really... Yeah, like... This is, a, this is a little biased, but I hope the other two contestants or the other contestant butchers their combo. No, it's Kiyoshi, though. Yeah, it's Kiyoshi. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> the judges are... Paige is genuinely stressed out. Paige is stressed. Wario's confused. Hbox and Boom are like, what do we do? How do we rank this? Esam and Paige, I think, are, are both, like, nervous. Paige is sad. She's going to give it something bad. Okay. Eight. The generous okay. eight. Okay. Boom, uh, Boom wondering about that. Another eight. Good try, but an eight. Boom's giving this uh, like a six. I wonder if they're just scoring both of those combos and adding them up. <laughs> That's the only way I see you get into an eight. Okay. Wait. Prince might be in this, dude. We might see Prince go to the finals. Seven. Okay. From Honestly, that's an honest seven. That right. seems that's more reasonable to me. That's more reasonable. Um, Wario's been right, very good. reasonable as a judge, by the oh, way. Yeah, big yeah. fan of the, the best judge of the Wario. The best judge you've ever had. Um, I, okay. Wait, does, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh this, assuming my phone doesn't die. I want to compare that to the score that Jaime got. 10, 9, 8, 8, 8. 43. So it, it didn't beat Jaime? No, he did not beat Jaime. No, no oh. way. Jaime finished the combo. There's no way he should beat Jaime. That's, that's true. Yeah, there's, you know, you want to reward players for going for difficulty and creativity, but it was, you have to do the was, combo or you're punishing the people who got up there and actually did a combo, you know? Okay, so so for Prince to make it, on, so for Prince to make it, Kiyoshi and Kamaways have to butcher it. I mean, this, he, got a, he got a 37, which so, would so have, not butcher, but. Which would have been almost low score in the first round, I think, or low score to get into this round. Will this be the year that we don't see Prince complete a combo? It's possible. It's looking very likely. I I do not see Kyoshki getting up there and getting less than uh, 37. But I didn't see Prince getting up there and doing that either. Uh, combo Blaze has certainly gone up here and dropped combos before. Yeah. Um, at least once, possibly twice. Um, what he did, Is he waiting for the wind or is he warming up? I'm so kidding. What's happening? Hey, dude, if he's waiting for the wind and doing some weird wind jank, that would be crazy. That would be pretty crazy. It hasn't worked out well in the past when people do things like that, with the exception of the Piranha. Um, but I tried to do something last year in the finals with the R-Wing. So he did this complicated combo, and then the R-Wing had to come out of nowhere. And it was RNG whether or not it would. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem with, that's the, with R-Wing, Wind, Tornado. They're, yeah. they're all RNG. We, I guess the wind is just, it has a set direction it's going to blow. Exactly, but it's, it's timing is timing a little is random. I think he is waiting random. for the wind. That's or is he waiting? For, or is he waiting for the clock to start? How about you guys? You guys okay, all right. He is waiting for the clock to start. All right, let's count him in. Five, four. <sighs> no blindfold this time. We'll see what happens. No blindfold. We'll see, we'll see how strong full power no, combo blaze is. No gimmicks. Wait, you can charge up your punch and still do the menu? Of course. I didn't, dude. I'm such an amateur when it comes to the. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ooh, okay. good cardio. That's actually hard. To Whoa, he's still going. There's dude, two, what? There are two oh, items dude, on the stage. What? He was going to throw it in combo with the punch? There were two unused items on the stage still. 
Dude, this, this right here, that's incredibly difficult that to is, get that second down beat a combo. That is a very, very hard timing. And Honestly, I'm surprised he doesn't put him in knockdown. Yeah, it's it's cool because it's the he's at a low enough percentage of damage where he doesn't get a tech option on the ground there. Yeah, but high enough where it's still combos. It's a very yeah. weird balance. So weird. Yo, I, I love this combo so far. Oh my god, I'm he went the other way. Yo, what are you doing? This guy's nuts. Oh my god. Dude, that is crazy. That's, that's, I've never, what? I've never seen combo plays do something like this. There were multiple moments in that combo where I thought it could end and I would be satisfied. Yeah. You know when you think the combo's over and you just see items chilling on the stage that haven't been used <laughs> yet? You're just like, what, what is this guy doing over here? Wow, this is great so far. I'm impressed with my combo boys. This is amazing. So we're pretty sure that that punch at the end is the end of the combo, right? Yes, of course. Okay. If it's not, I don't I need to call this guy the next prince. That would be crazy. A lot of competitors doing very long setups this year. Yeah. I think I think this is the year. I think we've reached the bar. <laughs> we're, 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 it's too difficult. Like the, the human composure yeah. is not strong enough to be able to do these. Man, uh, wrong way. we either need to extend the time or people need to just cut back on the difficulty a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe you just have to go hard and high roll in tournament. Get lucky. Oh, man. I hope we see the end of this. I don't, I don't know where we're at in terms of time, but it um, feels like he's, he can't have a lot left. His first uh. attempt was so strong. It was, it was really strong. Yeah. And, he got close, like five or six attempts in as well. Man, there, uh, there's so many parts here to mess up too. Like even the right here, he does down B. Even getting onto that platform is not super easy. Uh, yeah. Because of the fact in 64, you don't have a C stick. So he actually has to like put the stick in the direction he wants to attack and then control his character to move. Yeah, there's a lot of, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, he sent it in the he right direction. It. Could this be it? He goes for the up air, it's a combo. Yo, he's gonna jump! Oh, he needed to drop! Oh, he needed so to drop! So he's just drop. trying to drop it up there, right? Oh, man. Uh. Oh, that's a reverse down tilt he's trying to get up top, right? Or did I, he just not turn around? I don't, it's hard for me to follow. Yeah. I'm, this is crazy. Yeah, and that reverse, reverse down tilt is hard too. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh just that's, go up and punch I, him. I, I almost, <laughs> I almost feel like you should have double jumped forward air to get something on the board. Yeah. Double jump dunk. Um, then here's the thing. Prince got such high scores. I'm not even sure if that would beat Prince's scores. You're right. It's, um, if Kamo can finish this, Prince is a fighting chance. It all depends on how Kiyoshi does. I wouldn't call it a fighting chance. <laughs> but I call it a chance. Yeah, I don't know. Relying on Kiyoshi failing a combo is not something I want to. Okay, own. this could be it. This is where he struggled in the past. Well, the up air connected does. Okay. Can he drop? It? Oh, too much pressure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, he's got two if that, more tries here. If that ban had killed off the top, that would have been really lucky for him. Yeah, that would have been good enough, right? Yeah. If only we didn't know he was going for a punch. <laughs> yeah, he showed his hand a bit early, I guess. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, did he soft throw the fan, or did he just delay I, that drop? I think that he, fan was moving slow. I think he soft threw through the fan. But yeah. either way, it's not the direction he wants to send them in. Oh, just barely landed on that top platform. He wants another reverse down tilt. Reverse down tilt with Donkey Kong is so hard. Punch him. Punch him. Honestly, yeah. Combo Blades, I don't know if he's going in the next round with so those close. scores, but a hell of a showing nonetheless. Yeah, that was uh, uh, strongest that year was for him, crazy. I think. The blindfold combo, and then uh, that combo was LOL. Man, LOL? She I got it. One LOL. <laughs> <laughs> That's really crazy. He's going to be so happy when he rewatches this stream and sees he got on camera. Yeah. Seven. 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 Six, and him. six, six. Yo, Wario right. and HBox on the same wavelength. They're consistently putting up the same scores. Wanting people to finish combos, I believe, is that wavelength. Uh, yeah. Wow. Man. So combo is pro he's out, right? Guaranteed out. So the only question now is who's going to be in the final versus Jaime? Is it going to be Kioski or Prince? Because they can't both be there.
That's so... It's kind of sad. They, yeah, they can. It won't be a Japan yeah. versus Japan finals. Um, so something that we need to talk about is this man has not had a lot of stage time. He, he showed up for 10 seconds to the craziest combo of all time <laughs> and then sat down. Uh, this is... <laughs> This is, he's been on the stage combined maybe 35 seconds this whole event. Which, by the way, um, I'm glad we're getting a shot of the crowd. There are like a thousand people watching this. It's pretty crazy. It's an absurd. They got a full 360 stage this year, so we have audience all around the it's stage. It's so sick. I Kinda actually crazy. love it. Yeah. It's super cool. I'm interested in seeing. I wonder how many people are watching live right now. I know on YouTube he's got like a million hits. 1.85 um, million from last year's video. No, like, like live on Twitch. Oh yeah, right now. I have yeah. no idea. Um, all right, let's see what this man's got up his sleeve. Kirby, he's a Kirby main. Oh, I, I meant to make a comment about this like two hours ago. Uh, apparently now he's like a trifecta main. Oh, so, no. Uh, Smash 64's top three characters, they, they got an RPS thing going on, uh, Kirby, Falcon, Pika, and I believe now he's just got all three of them. So he just has your counter. So that's yeah. kind of like, boom, and honestly, you know, yourself. Yeah. So a lot of the top players are kind of going that way because right. why not? Yeah, I mean, you know? Even if you even if you have two of them, you don't even need all three. If you have yeah. two of the RPS, sure. all right. Let's see how he does. Though. I'm pretty excited for this. First try again. That would be crazy <laughs> if he had first try twice in a row. Oh Kirby, I love when they go their mains. Oh, is he doing no? Is he doing no items? Okay, the up there. Pivot up tilt. Off the wall. Wait, what? No, wait, wait, what? 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 Dude, what? <laughs> what? First try. Yo, what's that first try? First oh my try. god, dude, that was insane! Man came here to win. Yo, for no items, that was so creative. Yeah. He used like all his jumps. He, I mean, he's in. He, he has to be in right now. I think so. Yeah. Dude, he stays loyal with the point of the camera. The the point of the camera, he always does it. That was actually crazy. I don't know if it was first try. I think that was like second or third try. Oh, yeah, second try. He did mess up once. Try. Um, yeah. Man, wow. So, oh my I'm god. I'm pretty sure he just knocked out his countryman prince. Dude, so, he used all his jumps off the stage. <laughs> he just kept going. So that that up air to up tilt, something I've seen you actually do in training mode. Yeah, as it, a uh, tech practice. It, it is good for tech practice. He uses all his jumps. That was crazy. Ooh. That was actually really good. That was nice. And it's it's cool to see a combo out there with no items, right? Yeah. Because so many times people use the items and the elaborate setups is kind of a crutch. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it is really cool, but sometimes you know. It's just, yo, let's see what you can do out there. Yeah, it really, it really shows us that without items, the game is still so much com combination potential. Yeah. Um, it's kind of scary because then you realize he could do that to me in bracket tomorrow. <laughs> I, was, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was actually thinking that that is pretty reminiscent of um, something you'd see in like real life, like in, in an actual game. All right. So, so no Prince. In the final for the first time ever. PG Prince is not in the finals. No. First time not winning a combo yeah, contest. Uh, yeah. Wow. And then so. in the, the MC Justin is saying it as well. Uh, a new so that's actually the better narrative, right? It's not that Prince isn't winning. We have a new champion for the first time ever. Yeah. That's exciting. That's big news. Um and, and let's not say I mean, Prince had a fantastic run these past the three years before that just swept yeah. three wins in a row. Um, it would be cool to it see was a new brutal. champion, though. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was brutal the first few years. Yeah. Um, but but let's not let's not act like Prince came here like gave his best shot and it wasn't good enough. Had he completed those combos, it would have been an auto slot um, for first place or, or yeah, at the very I least think, finals. I think uh, the only other combo that you could argue was on par with his potential. Actually, okay, Taco's combo if he had finished that. I forgot all about that combo. Uh, the DK on on peaches with the up airs yeah. and the bumpers. Uh, but this that would have been pretty cool. Prince's two were pretty cool, and Kiyoshi's first combo was really sweet. Yeah. Um, It'll be interesting to see how next year goes, because I think these players like Prince and Tacos, and um, I think they're finally starting to realize that I can't just go do the craziest thing ever. Right. And uh, expect to, in front of a 1,000 people live, God knows how many people are watching online. It, it's hard to be that composed in the moment. I'm wildly impressed that Kiyoshi has had three combo attempts of this entire <laughs> event yeah. and has won both rounds. Um, so shout out to Jaime. Honestly, I wouldn't expect him to make the finals. He, like, obviously, it's not a traditional bracket, but he wouldn't be the one or the two seed. And here he is in the finals. He's a, got a real chance. So, he does. So there's a there's a kind of a saying in Sam in uh, 64 that Samus can't combo, right? <laughs> so to do a combo like this, oh, it's pretty ballsy. I'd say. Yeah, uh, Samus definitely 
without items, of course, is the least combo potential in the game. Right. Um, and I mean, you can still oh! do. Oh, okay. What? You can still do wild stuff, of course. Yeah. Uh, but not in par with the other characters. And it, yeah, it's not nearly as flashy. It's more of a I can kill you. Yeah. Man, so that down there that he's doing in between here, it's a lot like what um, was it? Who was just doing the DK combo? Combo Blaze. Uh, yes. Yeah. So where the character doesn't have enough hit stun to hit the ground and tech. So normally that down air from Samus would send Yoshi into the ground and there'd be a tech situation. Interesting. Um, so he's spending. So he's actually messed up the items the first time. Uh, he's giving a tornado the option to spawn. I really hope that doesn't come into play. Me neither. Um, How did that combo continue? I have no idea. That would. Yeah, we haven't really talked about the combo. That was funky. There's a lot going on. It's a little bit hard to follow. All right. Um, so we got Shell Bumper Dare. Shell Bumper Dare. Shell what? Bumper. Oh my God. Shell. He did good enough. Nah, uh, he didn't want it. Even in the crowd knew. Um, yeah. This second or third down air that we're seeing, I'm very surprised it's not putting Yoshi in tumble. Um, I believe it's the second one. Or that yeah. one, honestly. I'm very surprised. Yeah, oh, that's whoa, weird. Whoa, whoa. Um, so far, I'm loving the setup. I have no idea how this is going to finish. Nope. Like any oh. good combo. Sorry. Let me remind you, there's a ray gun on the left. Is there a ray yeah, gun? So wow, there's a there ray gun is. on the left. Oh, shoot. He wants to, dude. He's gonna do some some shots and a bomb finish. Like, or, two, uh, two shots and a charge shot. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I almost wish he would do one shot and a charge shot. I, uh, I he think might when have I, to with Samus. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. Because this combo is so fast, right? Yo, That's this shell. this combo is so fast. There's so many different things going on. I think if he were to take the time and go on a, a, a shooting spree, um, I think it would actually take a little bit. I think it would take away from the combo because there's so many attacks happening in such a short time frame. Oh, um, so you say that, but Prince had a very similar combo last year uh, with multiple red shells and bumpers. Mm -hmm. he, he did it first try, of course, too, yeah. which helps. But they were like two separate combos. He did stuff like this and then a ray gun. That's true. Oh, I don't. That shell is always on top of the ray gun. I don't know how he's going to get over there. Three more tries. Let's hear more. Three more tries. I really hope we see the end of this. Because, um, I mean, with, with the way this event is going, I think we can confidently say that Kyoshi's going to finish his combo. Yeah. <laughs> he's, been, he's done three attempts. Uh, and <laughs> Wouldn't yeah. it be crazy if you banked time in between combos? That Kyoshi would, would have like crazy. six or seven minutes right now. Yeah, that would be crazy. Man, so we are closing in on his last attempt. Uh, man. Ooh, no, staying with it. That would be crazy if he, if he switched to another combo and did a first try. He's had a crazy run go. so far. I really hope he finishes this. Oh, the shell hit him. He's going to get one more. All right, they're giving him one more try. I, I don't see how he gets to this ray gun. Yeah, Samus is so slow that it's hard for her, for her to like... Oh, oh it. there it is! You got this! Whoa! Yeah! Last try! So he had one more attempt and he did it! So Let's go, Jaime! That was so clutch! And look at the excitement on his face. Last attempt! That was the difference between us kind of almost losing by default or having a real shot at taking this event. Jaime would be the underdog if he can win this event. That would be a real Cinderella story. That would be crazy. That would absolutely be a Cinderella story. That would be crazy. If that was his last attempt. Wow. Oh, man. So clutch. That was, that was amazing. And, and just like he is as a player, so clutch up there. <laughs> he is so clutch. Dude, what did, we started this event by saying Jaime is the person you do not want to play in singles because he's going to get like, like 25th or whatever we said or like first. Um, and he really showed us that. All right. Man. Nine. All right. This is a setting a high bar for Kyoshi. That is. I, I think that's like nines across the board. Eight. Boom, and then an A. That's H box wow. with an A. Wario okay. Eight. Eight. Okay. So so it's interesting. Um, but Pidge, Pidge gave him a, a nine or a ten? A nine. Pidge and Nissan gave him nines. Okay. Um, All right, so that's so two nines and three. 42, which is lower than... Both of Kyoshi's combos so far. So far. We'll see. Um, we'll see if Kyoshi saved the best for last. Uh, there's no, there's no way. I mean, that first one was just nuts. <laughs> it did not get the respect it deserved from the judges. I think so too. That it was, was crazy. crazy. Yeah. I'm. You know what? I'm really glad that Jaime finished that combo too. So a theme of this event is that maybe the combos are getting too hard. Um, and it's <laughs> just nice. And do a it's combo? nice that he actually completed the combo. Yeah. Um, speaking of completed combos, this man, Kyoshi, has been. 
abnormally consistent with his with his combos. Like how how many hours do you practice this in training mode and then to come on this enormous stage in front of thousands of people and just do it first try or second so, try? And, and I feel like it's similar, if I'm remembering correctly, in other combo contests he's competed in, it's been similar. Really? I, don't, I, don't just, I mean, this guy is just so consistent as a player. Did the game just freeze what? or is that okay. us? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Restarting the, the game over here. This is technology from 1996, so bear with us. <laughs> Okay, Man. I'm excited, dude. This this is assuming there's no tie. This would be the last combo of the. Wait, they've only done, how many only did one combo, right? Yeah. So we're forgetting to mention they each get two combos in this final round. Do they? Jaime is not done. Is that is that still a thing? I believe so. In the official rules on the website, I believe that is the case. Interesting. I don't want to set our viewers up for some disappointment, but I think Jaime is coming back with one more after this, hmm. and it's the combination of those two scores. Wow. Wow. I wish we would get like a 360, right. 360 shot of the of the stage and the, the crowd in general. Yeah. It's like a, it's similar to two Evos where it's like a just 360. It's pretty cool. It's like we got a boxer ring up there basically. Yeah. Wait, where did that? He punched that shell into existence. I don't. Did he? Oh. Right. Oh, that tipper up there was so quick. <laughs> another oh man, red another shell. red shell. What's oh. that? Oh, what, dude? This is. That, that, that turnaround up air he does, like a few seconds in. What? What is That's that? It's nice. so quick. It's so fast. I like that <laughs> a lot. He's turning around. That's like the hardest tech in the game. Oh, is he doing a turnaround one? Yeah, okay. Turn okay. <laughs> Yo, low key, uh, turnaround is super hard. Just turning yeah. around. You got a good controller. That's tough. The number of games we've all lost by not turning around and grabbing our opponent. Oh, the second in up air. Okay, second shell. Oh, what? Yo, I love that he does single. He does first hit forward air and then second hit forward air right after. <laughs> and then he starts with a double. little bit of flavor. Yeah. I uh, wonder if that has anything to do with the staleness of the move. No, it's the same move. It is, move. yeah. Which is interesting. But they do have slightly different knockbacks, the first and second hit. For sure. Ooh, not the trajectory he wanted. So, just to be clear here, I believe these red shells, I don't think there's any RNG to them. I think they have a like gravitational pull towards the closest player. I agree, yeah. So they'll bounce off you a certain amount and they'll come back. So it's not like he's getting unlucky here. This is just something that he's messing up in terms of the shell setup. Yeah, for sure. Um, depending on where you are, where your opponent is. Whoa! Oh, he got it! What? He's still oh. oh, shoot. Okay. Um, for so a split second there, I thought he was hitting himself over with the shell on purpose. That would be very no. uh, tacos esque. So he dropped the combo, but he's still going to run with it because of, of the time, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's something that we we might see more of in the future, that if you drop the combo, you just roll with it just to get something on the board. Oh, but this is not a drop combo. This is all true so far, and he's still going. Oh, it, <laughs> oh, it, it, it followed him. So as you mentioned, depending on where you're standing, where your opponent's standing, the shell followed the wrong player. Dude, this this like introduction is kind of wild though. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Almost reminds me of Jaime's combo from last round. Yeah, which honestly, it seems like both of them are pulling from Prince's Ooh, combo this last could be year it. on Sector Z with two shells. That's actually a really uh, I never thought about that. They they probably do pull so much inspiration from the other contestants. Definitely. Ooh, love that. I feel I feel good about this one. Ooh, never mind. Mm. So he's actually coming. Dude, he's the time, the clock's running out, right? Yeah. If Jaime wins, that would be nuts. Well, again, I think both of them have one more combo in them. Yo, but this is true so Here far. We go. Wait, what is he going for? I, I don't understand. He just missed the dash, right? No, but the, the shell's going for him. I wonder if he drags the shell over by running hey, and the then gets out of the way. The combo oh, no. drop, but go. he's still Here gonna go. go for it. Yes! Oh! Yes! Yo, he, he did, did it! He's gonna roll with it. So he's gonna go with it. There was a split moment where the combo did drop about an attacker did two he in. Drop it? It did drop at one point. But I think that's the play. I think if the oh, combo oh, look at his shoulder. <laughs> I think if the combo drops even at a point, the bar is so high that it's better to get something on the board. And honestly, that's at least eights. Yeah, I mean it's the Alvin. You just keep going. Act like it <laughs> act like it never happened. So I, I didn't think it dropped because at the end the combo meter was at nine. Oh wait, so, am I okay? No, no right it there. Did reset. Yeah. Um so really, so, what would this combo would have been? It would have been like 18. It would have that been an 18 combo. so cool. 
running away from the red shell, like we said, pulling it over to the players with that gravitational pull that it kind of has, it just accelerates towards players, gets out of the way so it can hit the dummy. Pidge with a 10. That is a generous 10 given that the combo did drop off point. Nine. Look at Boom's face. He also thinks it's generous. Okay. Oh, Boom. That's great from Boom fan. Nine. Oh, and then I'm predicting an eight from Warrior. Wow. Nine. Okay, so we're seeing we're seeing the um, the meta of judging evolve. I'm telling you, three years ago, a lot of those judges, obviously different judges, would have given him like a six because it didn't connect. But we're seeing now that it's more important to get something on the board, to get some string of moves um, comboed in such a way where you actually kill them. Um, and, and the judges are valuing yeah. that more than the actual combo. And it, I, so I didn't catch it. You caught it in the middle of the combo. I wonder how many of the judges even saw that it broke up. Because like I said, at the end, the combo meter was at nine. So as a judge, you're just watching the combo. So and you look up at the end like, <laughs> Okay, I, nine seems about right. I've judged with Boom Fan before. Oh, he'll make sure everyone and knows. And he makes everyone he makes sure everyone on that table knows that it was not yeah. a true combo. He's probably <laughs> Google translating it to Wario, not true combo. <laughs> He's like, by the way, I would have got out of that. <laughs> Just so you know. But, <laughs> all right, so you are in fact correct. They get two combos. Hi man looks like he doesn't even have one. He looks like he didn't even <laughs> expect to make it to the finals. This man looks stressed. Nah, that's just his normal Jaime look. Did you see how excited he was after his last combo? He had this exact face on. <laughs> he doesn't show a lot of emotion, man. He I doesn't. Was running, I was running a three-man rotation with him earlier. This dude straight up fell asleep during his round off. He just <laughs> took a nap. That's the best thing I've ever heard. That's the best thing I've ever heard. All right, so. Almost snuck in another round, but the the the, the, combo, the scores of the combos are going to be averaged, right? So he fell behind Kiyoshiki. So in order for Hyman to take this event, he's going to have to win with this combo. By so a far, decent amount. Okay, what are you what are you going for there? That looks great to me. To even exit. even Boom is like, what are you doing, bro? That looks fine. <laughs> well, when you do this so many times in a row, and you know you just get the wrong trajectory on a hit, this they is no. This is the first Fox combo of the night. That is true. We've seen a lot of Falcon this event. Oh, this year? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Falcon this what year. What are you going for? Is he, the, is, he just gonna, is he just gonna home run him? He's wobbling him, dude. What what are you going for? <laughs> what is he is he waiting for? You can do this infinitely, by the way. What are what are we gonna see? They're doing the the A's that you see in melee. Is he gonna oh, don't throw him off, guys? You know crowds are bad at chanting in rhythm. Dude, is he gonna get it to nine to I 99? Think so. I think he's right, just gonna so, go. So at first I was like, okay, so like this is a cool gimmick. But the fact that he hasn't missed a Z cancel is crazy. Dude, he's done it 57 times. Dude, if he gets him to 99, that would be the most consistent, composed. No! <laughs> what? Uh, he, there's no way he tries that again. Oh, there's no there is way. There's absolutely 100% chance he's Dude, trying you this don't again. have time. You don't have time. You're nuts if you try that twice. I feel like that's a that's a one trick thing. Here we go. He's coming for it again. <laughs> Dude, he's doing it again. He's just gonna keep going. Dude, so, look at Hbox <laughs> bobbing his head to the A's. Hbox is like, I'm so glad I'm not the one being a. So while we're sitting here watching him do this. So last year I asked him what combos he had in store, and he mentioned a couple. You know, got some red shells on Mushroom Kingdom, blah blah blah. And then he also said infinite up air combo. And I thought he was joking, <laughs> but apparently <laughs> he's just doing infinite up air combo. Dude, with Fox. how is he Z canceling this consistently? This is like honestly, this is impressive to do. So the combo was 10 hits in when he started. So I was incorrect the last time. He's done this 54, 55, 56, 57 times already. Oh, it didn't connect! No! <laughs> what was he going for? That was Whoa, kind of he got to 69. Did oh, he? is that what he did? <laughs> Hey, did he stop at 69? Did I, I didn't see. Oh, that's anticlimactic. I really, I kind of just thought he was going for 99. Yeah, dude, he is yeah. going for 69. I don't think it was a true combo. Oh man, is he? He's he's wondering whether he should he, whether he should take it. <laughs> Justin, like, you're so, gonna try it again. So if he's getting it to 69, that means there's 59 up airs, which is wild. Oh man. Um, so here's the real question. If you know you're not going to win, do you just hold the combo contest hostage <laughs> by just continuing to go until everyone leaves? Dude, he would have got major crowd support if he does it for 69. 
I wonder if the crowd notices that it's at, I didn't notice it was 69. Yo, Wario is already, already going through the papers. I'm trying to judge this. I, I think actually, did, I think the combo was at one after the last one, so he missed the home yeah, run. Yeah, he missed right? the home okay, run. Okay. Um, you know what I think we might see is an adjustment. He gets it to 58 with the up airs, and then he throws the bat at him. So he finishes the combo at 69, and it's honestly a little bit more consistent. You don't have to worry about the pivot, F smash with you're the bat. You're not winning the combo contest with that. You're, you're not winning the combo but contest But you're not winning that. the combo contest with the drop combo. Yeah, but here's the thing. He's guaranteed second. All he can do now is beat Kyoshi. That's true. I don't know. He needs to get, like, he's already, like, five, six points behind. Here we go. Approaching 69 here. One. This is the last one. Pivot. Yes, he got it. He did it. He got the 69 combo. He's laughing. So, so uncharacteristic of Jaime, by the way. Jaime is such yeah. a quiet, shy That's the, guy. Yeah. He, he speaks with his play. Did he it. speaks with his play. Wow, that was amazing. A 69 <laughs> hit combo. Let's go. I don't know if we have time for a replay on that one. What is 69 420? <laughs> Is that for real? That's <laughs> Yo, that's that's gonna be the new 64 Hell banner. The 69 <laughs> Yo, the 69 420. That was great. <laughs> Alright, here are the real scores. That I think that's a nine. Okay, he's saying with the actual six. Boom. Eight. Eight's from everyone else. Eight's from Wario. So eight so eight's eight times on forty. Um, okay. <laughs> um, All right. Wow. Right. So I, okay. So Jaime can actually do that whenever he wants the infinite up air. Like he's able to do that. He'll do it to you in game if he feels like it. Yeah. But I don't know if he had a fourth combo. I gotta be honest. I think he was just trying to figure out how do I get to these up airs and just go. That, that's possible because for a while he like sat there like, yeah. What should I do? And he's really just thinking, how do I get to the top platform? I don't know, maybe he could have just started with it. It's true to start with that combo. He could have. I believe. Yeah. I, I wonder who's, whose idea it was in the judging panel to do 69-420. That was really that was really funny. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, Wario. Page. <laughs> it was Page, Definitely not Wario. Page or Boom fan. I think it was Esam, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, well he was definitely calling out the shots. One, two, three, everyone same time. That's true. Look at that 64, by the way. It's half red, half black. That's super cool. Um, okay, so. Uh, great memeing. We have Mexico versus Japan. Love the diversity. Um, and if Japan wins, it'll be the first time Kiyoshi has won a Smash Con uh, combo contest. Uh, oh, look at the camera. <laughs> if Jaime wins, that would be crazy. That would be totally unexpected. He was probably the fourth or fifth guy on this list anyone would expect to win. Yeah. You kind of expect him to get out of the first round because that's what he always does. Yeah. Um, but Kyoshi would really have to bomb this for that to happen. Um, and that doesn't seem to be his thing, bombing combos, but- No, it doesn't at it all. It wasn't Prince's thing either until today. That's so it's true. gotta start somewhere. Um, so Jaime, again, not a fighter's chance, but there's a chance. Um, if Kyoshi is a really nice guy and just decides not to do anything. So I, I wonder if we can do some math ahead of time. What is the the, the right. score that he needs to win? This is going to be our final uh, combo So night. right now, Jaime is an 82. Oh, they're, they're doing it right now. So he yeah, a 38. Yeah. He needs a 38. 38? Hey. Well, or at least a 38. 38. Prince got a 38 earlier for Actually. not completing a combo. So he needs, so a, he needs a 39. Rough. He needs a 39 yeah. to win a 38 to tie. All right, so we got Falcon on Yoshi here. Yo, this is like top tier combo contest, by the way. No, 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 wait, 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 he's still going. Wait, that, that was a bomb wait, setup. Wait, There's wait, a bomb was, down there. That was a setup? That's a setup. Wait, There's a bomb whoa. in the well. Do not go down there, Yoshi. Wait, what? Oh, wait, so if you throw it straight up, it what, hits a wall? Oh, he, he threw it left. He threw it yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to send them into the abyss and then bring them out. Uh, it doesn't connect, so but he, he's going to run with it. What? What, what was that? What? Yo, it bounced like four times. 
Oh, and the walk-off wow. combo. To get that down air angle just right, to just, pop him back no, out of the well. All the of the crowd, dude. Throws out the Falcon Punch, knowing that second mind's gonna send him right no, back to him. This man seems so happy. Dude, wildly, wildly consistent. Here we go. I love Three that he play. kills himself to get yeah. the combo set up. Yo, know, it's, it's amazing too, because you have so many different styles. Like, this was another really fast paced combo that we saw. Drops it right there, but honestly, picks it right back up, and I Through think it was worth gap. it. Dude, how many times did Yoshi go back and forth? Like, five times? That was nuts. Five times? Let's see if he's the winner of the 64s. I think it's, I think it's pretty combo. safe to say Kyoshi is going to be winning this. He's 39, so he needs 29 more. 19 more. He needs 10 more. Nice. Two fives would do it. I think even without Wario, we have our new champion. With the nine. Even with the without nine. Wario, you can give oh, him a okay. zero. Congratulations to Kyoshiki. Yeah. The first time Super Smash Con champion, we finally have somebody who has dethroned Prince, um, another Japanese. Wow, yeah. look at that trophy. Oh, my God. That was nice. Congrats to Kiyoshiki. And you know, you said it. I think a lot of people said it. If it wasn't going to be Prince, it was going to be Kiyoshiki. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, Kiyoshiki was the one I thought who was going to win from the beginning. Uh, not because I just thought Prince, there's no way he could have done it four years in a row. So let's talk about the styles a little bit. Um, like, all of his combos were really fast paced, yeah. like boom, 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 bouncing off walls and this and that. Um, and he was consistent. I wonder if that's the true. <laughs> Kiyoshiki just walked up. <laughs> He's Kiyoshi. saying hi to the fans, I think. Wow. Congrats, All Kiyoshiki. Right. What a shot. Woo. Let's go, Kiyoshiki. What an honor. And, I, and him and Prince are buddies. I'm sure Prince is really proud oh, of him, yeah. too. We have a new champion. We have a new Kamo Kazars champion. He's so happy. He's so proud of him. Oh, and wow. He's a great ambassador of the sport, too. His showmanship. Yeah. It's incredible. And like we said, an amazing singles player. Oh, he's he, he, he might win. He, he might, might win. He might win the event. He's um, uh, probably a top three favorite. Top four? Uh, I mean, he's seated, he's, all here he's seated third. Um, okay. but he's the best player in Japan right yeah. now. So speaking of uh, the singles event, before we go over to the, the heavies or whatever the, the next event, um, Smash 64 singles. Finals here are going to be Saturday. I believe it's 6 o'clock. They're going to be on this main stage. Um, 64 this year, I don't know why. I feel like it wasn't really hyped up in the way it was in previous years, but it's crazy stacked. Like, our top eight this year is nuts. It seems to get more stacked every year somehow. But, like, I, w I didn't even know it was this stacked until, like, I saw the entrance list, and I was like, wait, what? We have, like, eight Japanese players. And then you get here, and you're like, wait, I'm the 10th seed? What is this? <laughs> this is nonsense. <laughs> Dude, it's so, like, it, to make top eight of this tournament, it's really something special. Um, yeah. Even, so, for, even for these guys who are the top, the cream of the crop, like, to get to top eight is going to be extremely difficult. So we have Boom could win the event. Wizzy could win the event. Karaba could win the event. KYSK could win the event. Wario could win the event. Alvin could win the event. There are, like, seven players that I, could win this event. I forgot that Wizzy and Karaba were here. <laughs> Dude, the Yoshis. Those are, like, how is Kyoshi seeded three? I'm, I don't... I mean, everyone uh, knows kind of Everyone crazy. knows that I'm going to win, but we'll see who gets yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so that was a great, great was combo contest. The trophy stays in Japan. It does. Um, um, what was on next? Uh, the Rumble contest. The Rumble, the Rumble is contest on is on next. Before we sign out, 64, 6 o'clock Saturday for the finals. Shout out to our sponsors, Cup Noodles. Shout out to the event. Um, shout out to BGBC, who I believe is uh, streaming this. Um, and thank you all for watching. This was really yeah. fun. Shout out to KYSK for winning. Yeah, and tune in next year.